somehow my recording just got messed up and I'm hoping it's gonna be a fine, but I'm just gonna roll with it and if this is somehow the first part of the episode, basically um, all you missed was me explaining that I can't go into crisis and I was telling them the reason why is because there'd be no uh, backup support. Um, because it would basically be me versus the Russian Empire and Austria. Now, on my own, I could probably have taken Austria, and maybe on my own, I probably could have taken Russia. But when you combine those two forces, um, I'm basically not, I, my army just isn't that good. And that would just turn into a big, gigantic, uh, like, borderline war, where no one would really win, and we would just go back and forth. So, you know, I... I thought about the decision for a while, but it was just, hey, I'm still getting industrial power from Belgium. Ah, ah, yes, I still own you, Belgium. Even with you becoming a great power, I still own you. Uh, but yeah. And I know you're thinking, thinking, what about the United States and the two Sicilies? Which, by far, I never expected two Sicilies to become a great power. Well, for some reason, the United States is, is not going to join this. Like, I think it's because they have a truce or something, or they're just not involved heavily inside the uh, European front. And so they basically just want to uh, let the Europeans settle their own differences. Because I did, I'm just going to say right now, I did play just a slightly bit ahead. Because I wanted to kind of, before I went into this, kind of get the diplomatic system worked out and how internal crises work. Because, as you know, I'm still kind of a noob with this game. Well, at least the new features, and I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, I messed up in my African conquest a little bit. But, I mean, overall, we still have a good chunk of Africa still lined up for us. And I kind of blocked the British right here in Cameroon. They only took one province. Booyah! So, you know, things like that. And I'm, I'm highly suggesting the Portuguese will not expand anytime soon. So, yeah. We basically, it would basically be a proxy war, and it would not turn out my favor. And, um, the only way I would win is I would have to turn in all my alliances, just all of them, the Papel States, uh, Two Sicilies, you know, Sardinia, um, <laughs> if I still had Belgium, um, the, the Spanish, the Portuguese, I'd have to get everyone in my sphere to come and help me against the Russian Empire and the Austrians. And while that would provide, I mean, exceptional entertainment value, it would cripple my economy, which is still... I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think I, what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm paying my soldiers too much. And I know that sounds like a really, really bad excuse, but I think I'm paying my soldiers too much. So, yeah. I'm going to have to back out of the deal with Poland, but, you know. If another internal crisis arose, arises, which I think another one will arise in Greece, I will definitely join that point, okay? And as you can see, it looks like the, it doesn't look like the uh, Polish people are just going to give up, because this is the one we're right now focusing on, and they already have like a backup Polish place ready to already set off. So, you know, be hopeful for the Polish people and pray, well, maybe not pray if you're not, if you're not religious and just like hope that they will rise up against their Russian oppressors. So, there we go. Anyways, other thing, under other things, um, colonization. Um, while I was gone, or just kind of like lackadaisically relaxing, I decided to figure out the colonization system, and basically what I kind of figured out is one, uh, armies, wait, Wait, let me get these soldiers over here. Um, armies on colonies no longer helps you out at all. So if you're thinking that you could get some quick like colonies through like putting your soldiers on there and hoping you'll speed up, it does not. It does not do anything. So, you know, I I don't know if that was a smart move on their part because it kind of kind of defeats the purpose of like having armies in your African colonies, because now basically I don't really care about my colonies. I can just like I, I really don't. Unless it's like, hmm, I guess the only reason why I would want to have an army over here is if I'm trying to invade, like, little tiny places like Cape Coast and Arcria. But I wouldn't, what would be my other point of having them, so, yeah. 
That's just that's just something I realized. And right now, I know my colonial thing is saying I'm losing the race in Kenya. All I'm doing right here is trying to distract the uh, Austrians before they just keep expanding down here and ignoring the heck out of me. So, if anyone's wondering what happened there, that's what happened there. All right. And another thing is is that I took a I decided to finally take we're gonna finally everyone will finally go take a good in depth look about our economy because you know I think just I have not gone through and actually ever looked at the economy and I decided to at the last minute before I record this episode or before I even got in this episode so this is our recording so our top three outputs are grain coal and regular clothes now the interesting and our top three imports are tea timber and fabric all right the interesting about that is is that in in both, all three of those things, I am not the top producer in. Grain, grain, and coal. Where is coal? Coal, 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 coal. Yeah, we are the second most top producer. In fact, we are so, wow, we are really close to matching the British with the coal. But we are not the top producers. Um, in regular coal, wait, in regular coals, actually, we are the top producers. Which does fill me with some French pride. You know, give it up for my homies and give it up for my homies who are working hard every day to make sure that our our country is the best in the world. We have beaten the British in regular clothing, which makes me very happy that that even in this timeline, French are stylish and we get out the best products there is. Simply put, all right. And then the only and I'll skip the details here, people, because basically in every other category, we're either second or fifth. The only other category we actually ever beat anyone is in coffee. Which I was not expecting. I was like, oh, coffee. That's interesting. Okay. Moving on. Uh, sports. Automobiles. Uh, nothing. So, yeah. That was just kind of an interesting point I wanted to bring you guys' attention. That, that France is the leading producer in coffee. Which... I did not expect, and Lucille, I can go to war with Lucille to collect payments, I could, oh, 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 one more thing, so, the next thing I am thinking of, uh, day. the next thing I am thinking of is trying to either invade Aminu Dubai or Oman, or I could go try and invade Korea, the problem with Korea's invasion is that I will certainly will be found out and tampered with, but if I do go to war against Korea, I think that one of the, uh, let me see. Huh. Never mind. I thought they were actually the leading producers in, like, steel and iron because of their rich land of iron. I mean, they just... Whew. But what I actually will might do instead, because, actually, instead of establishing an entire nation, I realize the only part I need of their land... This is only if I want to take Korea, by the way. Is I only need, like, this part and this part. Like, the southern part of Korea... It really has nothing valuable, in my opinion, so, you know, that's what, that's a, that's a strategy I could employ. But what I'm really concentrating right now is I want to take Oman. Oman is that little state that has annoyed me for about a couple episodes now, that just does not want to get conquered. So, I'm going to put in my justification of war to establish protectorate, and we're going to hopefully, hopefully not rack up that much infamy, but I have had bad, bad luck in the past. So, we're just gonna have to see. And, yeah. That's basically it, everyone. And we're playing the game, and the offer just expanded. And, it seems like Two Sicilies took the offer, and... So, an eternal crisis is brewing, as great powers are expected to assert opposition. Do we, yes, we are interested in this crisis, or no, that does not concern us? Yes, we are interested in this crisis. Okay? So, let's look at the crisis mode, and you guys will see, you guys will kind of see what I mean. So, we basically would have, uh, we would basically have me and two Sicilies versus Russia and Austria. Both of which, I may add, have a 92, have more than double the military that two Sicilies have. Combined, well actually combined, both of our militaries would be about the same. But it would still be way too close for us, well let me just see actually, let me see the military. Yeah, their military is mostly made up of, of people, so is the Russian army, so this is just solid manpower, which means this would be a hard war, so that's what I mean by, you know, this isn't really worth it, and I hate to say this, 
but I'm gonna side with the British. <laughs> Not the British, the Russians. All right, you know, maybe that will curve the uh, Austrians and maybe join the other side. I highly doubt it. Yeah, you see, they, they just really want to join the Russian side no matter what happens, so good for you. Good for you. But from, yeah, so. so Poland independence is not right yet. We will get to it, though. I promise you, people. I seriously promise what I said, and I mean my promises, is that when I said we were going to free Poland, we are going to free Poland. And right now, if you guys haven't been noticing in my past videos, there have been lots and lots of rebellions in uh, Germany. And, you know, it's... It, we can all assume it's all because of us. If it wasn't because, and I'm not, this is not me just being bragging, but with me just completely and utterly crushing the Aust the uh, Prussian Empire and just owning them, they have now been co cornered in their own land to where random rebellion just randomly spark out and their empire. And yep, the two Sicilies found peace. Um, I hope two Sicilies isn't too mad about that. I don't think so. I don't think it, I don't, yeah, you don't get that much of a diplomatic uh, downside if you don't do it, but I will increase our relationships that way they like us the most. Okay. Intervene immediately. Alright, so, next time, people, when they have a crisis, okay, crisis averted from Le Toms, the greatest newspaper in the world, Le Toms. So, next time when they have a crisis, uh, go into things. But, yeah, I was just looking at Germany and just looking at, just like, I'm thinking, I feel like I already caused World War II because I'm like thinking, oh no, they're going to become commie, they're going to become Nazis, aren't they? And then we're going to have to deal with a new kind of Adolf Hitler kind of thing. Because right now, I feel like we crushed the Prussians, and right now we have some new French colonies. Uh, we want to create some protectorates, um, which means I have to look around my established states, create a protectorate, then create a colony. Okay. Ah, right, dang. Okay, I think we, yeah, it seems like they'll probably get this little be piece of random land, but I really don't care about that, you know, they can have it, they, if you guys didn't know, the Austrians are trying to take this land, and they probably did, I really don't care, I mean, they can have it, it's not like an important part of my country, so, I'm mainly interested in the fact that we get all this part, and I'm going to start colonizing down here, because what I'm going to try to do, before the British get to it, I'm going to try to get this, uh, where is it? This little province right here because it has a RG output of steel. And that would seriously help me with my uh, problems with Britain. Alright? And we have just one more place we need to... Uh, no, no, wait, we, deal, we dealt with it all. Alright. Let's deal with this like little area right here to block off America officially. But we don't have to do it. And let's pick our new technology, which I'm going to go steel turbine. Because I need to get, I need to get combustion engines so that I can start making automobiles because automobiles are very profitable. Like, they are very profitable in the future. And they would honestly help my business a ton about. And the mission, oh shoot, that isn't good. That is not good. Um, how far are we in our, the, yeah, if you guys didn't notice, they just detracted 25%, like, fluency for me in that rate. So let's see, how much war justification do we have? Ooh, come on. I'm hoping, if we do get any info, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we only rack up, like, one. And I might have just jinxed myself, but you know what? I'm holding Optimus. Oh, heck no! Oh, heck no. You are not beating me here. You are not beating me here. I don't care what you say. You are not beating me there, uh, Austria. I know what you're trying to do in that region. You're trying to branch out so you can take all this luscious land of, um, Africa. But guess what, Austria? This is all my land. I already claimed it back in the beginning of the series. Like, literally, if you guys look, I'm the first one who have claimed and have plans to kill Africa. But, anyways, it seems like the Austrians were really going to have to, like, watch out for now. They seem to really be wanting to colonize me. And only 1.6 infamy! Oh, that is so awesome! Man, that usually never happens when I do these. <laughs> like, just off to the side, this, this usually never happens. Alright, so now since I have only 1.6 infamy... What I'm going to do is I'm going to instantly get my armies together. And we're going to go send them to go to the Ottoman Oman land. And we're going to go take Oman down. And apparently I have some more events I could act. And annexation, okay. Uh, what the Brazil expedition. 
The French Italian ex adventurer Pizzazz explored the Congo region in the 1880s and 1890s and opened up Central Africa to the right bank of the Congo River to the French colonists in the city of Brazil and French Congo was named after him. So, as mission to colonize, what does this give me? Some prestige. Nuka is renamed to Bastille. Alright. I can deal with that. That sounds like a good thing. Um, Valley of the Kings. Still don't want to enact. I could sign the Jiva con Convention now. Um, do I want to do that? Monthly War Exhaustion Organization. Lose one. In Actually, uh, you know, I can't even, I don't even like supporting my military fully. So, sign a Geneva Convention. Mm -hmm. Yeah! It's a time of reforms right now. Except I still don't want to give people the right to vote. <laughs> That's still one I am not going to give up without a fight. Alright. Is this my army? Alright, I'm just going to have to... Yeah, just... just to, Yes. Destroy brigades that aren't there. Okay, six. Okay, I'm just going to have to split up one infantry unit. Okay. And now you guys may go on the ships. Wait, what? Okay, just go right here. I'll deal with it when they're up in there. And another factory closed, an artillery factory, um, you know what, if it's not profitable, it's not worth my time. That's how I am, I'm a hardcore economics, economic X. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I should also mention now, um, yeah, there we go. I started a new series, or, really I didn't start a new series, there was like this new thing I'm part- Okay, Project Zomboy has come out with its latest new patch, and, um, I finally, like, revealed my plans for it, which is, I'm gonna try to start this, like, kind of story arc, kind of like, uh, I, I compare it to, like, Shadow of Israfel in Minecraft, you know, just kind of like, okay, by the way, the great state of Zamponi fears we are coming. Oh, I would be if you guys were not civilized. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. And the Toms, thank you. Thank you. Like, yeah. If you weren't civilized, I would still be going after the great state of Zamba. Okay? Okay. We got understanding here. But, um, yeah, I started. And I please, please, guys, I hope you guys will watch the episode. Give me a guys' this, you know, feedback about it. You know, I really, you know, I really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you guys did because um, that series is going to mean a lot to me. Like, because I'm going to need... Well, first of all, I'm going to need a lot of help. Okay. Yeah, they are trying to fight me colonizing-wise. We just have to wait till we get 20 in colonial investments, but we're good there. And let me just move my other army. You guys go get Zamba. You guys go get take Luma. Okay, but yeah. I hope you guys will go check out that video. Um, I'll maybe put a link in the description. I don't know. I'm pretty lazy about that. Um, I'll be, I'll just be honest with myself. I'm pretty lazy about it, so, yeah. And apparently we're war with high end dates. Bad move on your part, this part. I don't think these guys are going to be much of a threat. Okay. It seems like we're having some colonial power issues. Force, ah, we can make the, uh, Belgium, Portuguese. Whoa, what happened to Portugal? It lost, like, its top spot. Oh, Spain. Spain, good job. You finally did something useful with your country. Instead of, like, somehow dropping below great power status when you had great power status all along. I don't know. I don't know. Just, like, I don't know. It's uh, Every time I see Spain in this game, I'm like, Haha, you're gonna fall out soon. Oh, no. How am I losing in Rift Valley? That shouldn't even been possible! Okay, how much would this expand that? Okay, I, yeah, I can't lose this region. Somehow, okay, this is, this will probably be a fast point if I don't, if I don't like back down, but I'm not going to back down in that region. That region's mine, and I'll say that with uh, firmity of my, of my own, like, French powers. That is my region. And we have one more place. War between France and Oman, the king and I. Wait, what's that? European governess hired to educate the convert in Lipping seems to be doing fairly well at her job, but she has been introducing some rather strange ideals among the practice. That is good. I guess. I, I don't know. I, I I didn't really pay attention to that. So, let me just, like, colonize right here to completely, yes. Okay, now we got this entire part blocked off from um, the European powers, and now we just need to colonize this entire coast. So, 
We're doing good, people. We're doing good. All I gotta say. And right now, this is gonna be our next border skirmish, and I'm not gonna make sure these guys win. This is my. I seriously think that this is my land, and I'll defend that right. I'll defend that with the passion. And move our soldiers in as we slowly but surely conquer Oman. And another factory collapsed. Machine parts. Where's machine parts? Machine parts. Okay, uh, yeah, just, just collapse it. There's no point in, like... I don't know. I find that there's no point in, like, bringing in factories that don't do anything. Like, at this point... At this point, we're about midway through game, and if you're not doing anything, you're not helping your cause. So, let's send Mali. Yes! Okay. Create protectorate. Yes! Okay, so we will be able to do this. Um, let me see. Can I, like, go to the next tier? Um, 1876. Okay, on the 1st of 17th, everyone, remind me about this. But we have to put an extra point in here to overpower the, uh, Austrian threat. Okay? Okay. Alright, and we got a new colony in right here. All right, woohoo! Okay, and now we can start like, ex ah dang, we can't start expanding it to the coast, but I will have enough points now saved up to uh, to uh, make sure that we have instant. Wait, oh come on! How? How is Austria beating us? Oh, and if you guys are thinking I'm gonna pull out this time, no. This province is actually pretty important. Because if we don't win this province, they're just going to walk all into here. Like, all into here. And this is all land. So you know what? Pruitt, I'm going to send my soldiers up here. This is this is how serious I am. If they don't get out of my... If they don't get out of here, I'm going to send soldiers. And I know the soldiers don't actually help. But you know what? They give, they give me kind of assurance that we will win. Okay, and I'm going to bounce these soldiers out. Okay, you guys hopefully will... Dang it. Okay. You guys split up one more time. Let's get out some horsemen. You guys go on here. Okay, then let's check up on our soldiers up here. Are you guys done? No, you guys aren't. I'll go. S let's go speed up this invasion a little bit by go sending in some more soldiers. And I'm losing in Rift Valley. I know. I made guns. Whatever I just said, I don't even care. Oh, come on. Why is it? And I would like to point this out. There is something in this game that is cheap, because they should not have been able to get that guard post so quick. I mean, look at that. They already they already look like they... Oh, wait, no, they don't have a guard post. Oh, sorry. Sorry, people. I was about to freak out and say, like, oh, you guys shouldn't have a guard post. And as you can see, I have soldiers in the area. Uh, we're more out. What are we? Oh, we're kind of like 333. Okay. What does our party say? We're moralism. Okay, we're moralism. I'll support that. Like, and just to prove it, like I said, everyone, just to prove to you guys, this is I have been mining output. We're good. Oh, uh, dang, we actually can't get that. So get semi. This actually might be useful because we're about to conquer Oman, and Oman might be littered with might be littered with goodies and might not be. It's like a debate. Okay, full citizenship. Yeah, we get full citizenship here. We get full citizenship up in here. Okay, let's move over here. Um, tensions in Luxembourg. Okay, assert our position or fall back. Lose prestige. Uh, assert our position. Uh, you know, why would we care? I don't know. And the Indian fear. Dang. Latomps. And, oh! Okay, so apparently the revolution in Germany has finally ended. So let's see, what has become a Germany? Um... It became a different flag. So what is it now? It is a bourgeois dictatorship. Um, it's completely free trade. It's laissez-faire. It's atheist. It's full citizenship. And it's pro-military. So the equivalent in our universe would be this is China. <laughs> this is communist China of the day. Just, it's Germany. Well, you know what? That's good because, oh my goodness, wait, wait. He released all the German states. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Uh, start influencing German states immediately. And some of them are actually already socialists. But, you know, that's fine me. We, oh my goodness. We have a golden opportunity right now. To just make sure that the, uh, 
to make sure that Prushka never forms. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I like damage them enough to where they will never form, but to make, to drive the wedge through, and revolution, Russia, what? Oh, and Prushka, oh, I was like, Russia? But that, just, that hasn't happened yet, okay, and, dang, okay, and yeah, you can see, like, I have my troops here, and I'm ready to create, like, a better protectorate, and it's not really helping us that much. And it's actually just, like, causing war score. Okay. Anyways, let's get back to us invading. I just, I just wanted to see the, the like, con the final conclusion with the conflict in, uh, no, we are not anti-military. We are definitely not anti-military. I just wanted to see the conclusion of the conquest of that, and, in fact, uh, while we're here, I'm gonna start, uh, gaining some Justify War against Amino Dubai. I doubt anyone has anything on Amino Dubai. So it should be pretty easy. And New Sphering Nation Luxembourg. Oh, I completely forgot we had Luxembourg in our sphere. Oh. Well, yes. Now since the Brit. Oh, yeah. Because now since the British are now gone. And are you a secondary power yet? Yes, you are. Okay, let's start influencing you two. Okay, let's see. Who took over you? The Ottomans. Prushka, I'm really digging the new flag and the fact you guys aren't as imperialistically powerful as me anymore. <laughs> I'm now like the second biggest industrial power in the world i feel so accomplished but anyways oh man i feel like this episode's going off for just a little bit too long so you know as much as i hate ugh, no no i always do this and you know what this will probably be a longer episode for you guys i'm just not going to end it until i'm done with my conquest of the oman region and right here dang i'd really love to support these guys right now uh, free trade. Just, we, we love free trade in our country. Oh, no! No! How? Uh. Withdraw. I know you guys may be thinking that's a stupid decision that was kind of worthless. Worth something, but... I mean, I blocked them already. Like, British Africa is not going to expand any more than right there. And right now, we need the colonial points to keep fighting the, uh, Austrians here. But that, that seriously stinks. I thought, I, I seriously thought, no! Oh, heck no! Okay. Oh, dang it. Dang. The Armenia Dubai menace is spreading. Alright, but dang. We're having, okay. Oh, maybe I can, like, block this region off if it comes to, uh, their beliefs must be respected. Alright, I need to get this region right here, too. Alright, and I'm severely... Man, France... Oh, great. Do I lose... What's in this region? Really nothing of value, so... But... Uh, I don't want to lose it. You know, the, there's so many decisions, I'll just, like, catch up on that. I just want to deal with the rest of this invasion. Because that's really where it's important. I mean... I, as much as I love colonizing Africa, invasions of other third world countries are good. And I just got 3.3 infamy. That isn't that bad. I mean, that was significantly better than most other th countries. And, um, I hope, dang, Colon colonizing Africa in this game has become severely hard. And tensions are so completely rising with me and Austria in this region. And, what, an eternal crisis? Oh no. Sicily's? Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. It's back. And I can't actually join this time. So... Oh. Dang. What is with this system and not letting me join? I don't know. I seriously don't know. And we're almost... We're almost done. Annexation. That'll be for next episode, people. Uh, new stores. Let arms! The fear transversal, okay. And we have fight we're fighting in two different regions right now. We're fighting in here. Keep up keep up the pressure. Uh over here we're fighting. Dang. You see, like that is just unfair. They somehow get two bonuses for the same province. Yeah, they Oh shoot, and I actually forgot to change my liberal standings. Ooh. Oh yeah, because we just had an election and uh People really like the uh, laissez-faire people. Well, I'm going to have to change that in a second, but let me just, like, increase our chances. 
defeats our like conquest of here. Okay. Oman should be giving up now. They would not. Why? Okay. Okay, people. That's about that's about as much as I can take right now. I'll be back in a little bit.